In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, today is the memorial of St. Barnabas the Apostle. He was one of the early, early um, apostles, the ones who were sent to uh, evangelize. He was part of the group with St. Paul. St. Paul was assigned to him when St. Paul was just getting started. St. Barnabas helped him. And so as we remember St. Barnabas, let us call to mind our sins and ask for the mercy of God. He came to call sinners, Lord, have mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to eternal life. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manan, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. 
with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whenever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today is a special day for me because four years ago I was ordained a priest on this very day, June 11th, here at St. Patrick's Church. And it's been quite a journey of these past four years. The six months before my ordination to the priesthood, I was already here those six months as a deacon. So I have been in this parish for four and a half years. And that's the same exact amount of time that I studied theology, four and a half years of theology. And so it's the same time, same time, four and a half of priestly and diaconate ministry at St. Patrick's, and four and a half years of my time as a student of theology. And I can tell you that I have learned a lot here at St. Patrick's. I have learned many things which I never knew or expected I would learn. Many practical things, all sorts of things that I have learned. And I, I love learning, so I'm grateful for everything that I've been able to learn. But more importantly, I'm grateful for the priesthood of Jesus Christ that, that I have received as a gift so that I can share with you the love of God, so that I can share with you the message, proclamation of the gospel, good news of Jesus Christ, and how that love is so present in the sacraments, especially in the Eucharist, or in the forgiveness of God in the sacrament of reconciliation and the other sacraments, the many baptisms that we have here, anointings of the sick going to hospitals or nursing homes or people's homes. The ministry is just something that is always there because we always need the love of God to be helping us, to be guiding us, to be nourishing us. And I'm just grateful for the Lord, to the Lord, for 
these past four and a half years and grateful to all of you who have supported me, who have prayed for me, who have been with me during this time. Thank you. In this gospel today, we have the proclamation of what well, Jesus tells him to make a proclamation. The kingdom of God is at hand. He is, this is when he's sending the, the twelve on an earlier mission, not the final mission at the end of the gospel, but this is an earlier mission, perhaps a kind of practice mission. And Jesus tells them all that they are to do, they are to say, the kingdom of heaven is near, is at hand, is near, is near. And then they are to go to the sick and to those who have died and to those who are possessed by demons and allow themselves to be instruments of God's healing. And like I said, I've been so blessed to be able to do that myself, to allow myself to be an instrument of God's healing, whether it's spiritual healing, like in the sacrament of reconciliation, or all the other kinds of healing, sometimes healing of relationships. Sometimes people talk to me about different things, or sometimes the healing that just comes by receiving the word, receiving the Eucharist. And Jesus continues. He says, as you enter a house, we should peace. This is the house of God. And as I'm looking forward when you enter once again and we celebrate Mass in public, we always say, the peace of the Lord be with you. We should peace, Jesus says. The peace of Christ. That is something that again and again we need. And, and Jesus says, tells us that we are to wish one another that peace. In this world that always, there's something always that wants it to be divided. Let us always work for peace. Lasting peace comes through justice. But the work of justice is done in peace, is that dynamic. Peace and justice and justice and peace. So as we, as we continue today, maybe let us allow ourselves to be instruments of peace. Let us allow ourselves to be instruments of the healing of God, each in our own way. And let us pray to St. Barnabas that he may pray for us, that we may continue in our journey of whatever vocation God, God gave us, to continue and to be filled with the Spirit of God, to be renewed always, to be strengthened. And so let us offer our prayers and petitions this day. We offer this Mass today for Dante and Pepin Marcial, for a happy birthday. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope and all church leaders, may the grace of God bear fruit in their ministry and increase them in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations and all those in authority, may God give them wisdom and strength in carrying out all their duties let us pray to the Lord. For the sick, the lonely, the poor, and those who have been hurt by the actions of others, let us pray to the Lord. For those of us who are waiting to gather once again together for a successful opening of public Mass this weekend, for the safety of everyone, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they know the joy of God's mercy as they enter into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. And for Sister Rocio, I forget her, her last name. She is one of the sisters I met 
when I went to the monastery of Augustinian sisters in Mexico. She's, her health is not well. So let us pray for Sister Rocio. For her health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we place our petitions before you, knowing that your mercy is abundant and you will take care of your children. We offer this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. mingling of this water and wine when we come to share the divinity of Christ we came to share in our humanity blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you fruit of the earth and of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us a spiritual drink blessed be God forever Away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love, by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sinai in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. Peace be with all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.